hello guys this is your friend mr solution so on today's video i'm going to walk us through how to purchase bitcoin with your naira let's say you have naira in your bank account and you want to buy bitcoin and you don't want to go through the process of using retailers and some whatsapp groups the previous video i did was on how to buy this same bitcoin through the um, Binance website but when I did it they had not already un introduced this process or this method on the Binance on the app but this period they've already made it available so I deemed it necessary or fit to do this video so that everyone can understand how to purchase Bitcoin with your Binance app but first of all you have to make sure that your app is up to date make sure your app is updated and secondly make sure your account is verified it's one of the conditions that you have to meet make sure that your account is verified and i'm going to show us how you know that an account is verified you can see mine here my account is my account is well verified okay so and the verification process is not really is not difficult it's just something you can do with ease okay it's very easy to do that and please if you are using if you are new to the binance app or you've not signed in and you desire to um, start using it you could use my you could use my referral id to sign up but maybe that could be my your way of encouraging me for putting up this process okay so i'm trying to okay yeah so this is it this, this is my referral id this is my referral id okay in case you're new to the okay right. i i do not want to go there sorry the app sometimes he does some crazy things Okay. All right. Um. Okay. So a whole lot of me persons make the mistake of trying to buy. Make the mistake of trying to buy BTC using this place using this place please this is not for nigerians buy crypto with usd inst instantly this is not for nigeria you don't do that here this is not for nigeria we our uh, our currency is naira but here you can see what that what they wrote is usd please so stop going to this section for your purchases all right so let's go right ahead after you must have ensured that your account is verified and it is up to date the next thing you do is to go to your wallet go to your wallet you can see no no this is go to your wallet you can see here i currently have um i currently have 119 dollars point 50 okay 119 dollars 51 cents okay but what happened is that just few minutes ago i sent in money i sent in fifty thousand naira to this very account okay so how do you how did i do that just go to click go to these deposits this is the deposit section go to this section okay go to the deposit section click on deposit and then wait for it to load you have the option is it crypto you want to deposit okay is it crypto you want to deposit or is it fiat in this case what i want to deposit is fiat so i go here and click on this fiat all right so here are the various fiats local currencies that you can deposit and what i'm choosing is naira this is ngn okay this is what i want to deposit okay so i just tap on it ngn and then wait for it to load it's loading and it's loading i wait for it to load it's loading okay finally it has loaded and here you can see they said i should put the amount let assuming it okay fifty thousand naira i put fifty thousand okay and what method of payment do i want do i want to do card that's my atm or do i want to do bank transfer i always choose bank transfer because it's cheaper if i'm doing card it's it's seven it to cost me 700 but it's, if it is bank transfer it's just 150 naira okay so if i'm putting if i'm deposit if i'm to deposit um 
fifty thousand naira, they will take one fifty. So I'll be left with forty nine thousand eight hundred and eighty naira. Okay. So once I have selected the amount I want, the method of payment I want, I just go right here and click on submit. Okay. And I wait for it to load. Okay. So this is it. This is the gateway they are using. Uh, that's Flutter Wave. Yeah. This is a third party they are using for the uh, process that's filter wave okay so here is already my email and then i amount this is the amount i want to withdraw i want to deposit rather fifty thousand naira, and this is the account number so what i do is just to copy this account remember account number remember what i'm doing is bank transfer alternatively you can, you can do atm deposit but i i use bank transfer because it's cheaper for me so and the bank is what is where my bank okay this is beneficiary name binance holding so once I, I copy this account number the same way i usually do bank uh, do bank transfer i just copy it go to my bank app go to my mobile app uh, whichever bank it is i'm using transfer it and in the space of in the space of say two minutes or three at most three minutes the the deposit will land on my account and that was what happened this is 50k i do not know why this is showing black but this is actually 50,000 naira right okay 49,850 so that's to, that's to show you that it is still reflecting here okay so this is the 50,000 naira i just deposited and they took the 150 so i'm left with 49,850 naira now i have already succeeded in transferring the naira to my um app okay what next do i do okay you go back okay go back go to markets go to market come to this search section come to this search section okay okay click on it and what i'm looking for is um btc ngn so i simply type ngn ngn so the various coins that my the various coins that ngn is paired with we show but now what i'm looking for is b is btc ngn which is this this is what i'm looking for btc ngn okay so i just click on it i just click on it okay so this is it remember i want to buy i want to buy btc with my naira so i go to this buy section and before then i need to be sure how the chart what the chart is showing this five minutes chart and let me use 15 minutes charts to look at it okay maybe i should just go right ahead and buy it since this is just for educational purposes. okay and then um looking at this chart i want to let me look at the 30 minutes to see how it's faring okay and then i'm looking at okay i'm looking at some other conditions that will determine where i am supposed to place my buy because i do not i don't usually use the um market order okay so i'm trying to go through this to know moving averages the magd the magd um the bulls are in control for the magd so i would check out rsi okay yeah I prefer rsi okay okay all right the rsi is not looking bad too can see this is making a series of higher highs so that's a bullish sign too but nevertheless okay the current market price is the current market price is four million one hundred and sixty six thousand this is the current market price here four million one hundred and sixty six thousand six hundred and sixty five and the high it went was four point two million the low was four million eighty one thousand okay I think uh, I can I can just go right ahead and okay okay all right so I go back sorry I made a mistake okay let me locate let me locate that BMBM NGMBTC once more I'm trying to locate look at it sorry look at it BTC and, and BTC NGN here this is it BTC NGN okay so I'm going to tap on it uh, even though i didn't take my time to do this analysis to know the right place to buy so i'm just going to click on buy okay buy this is the amount i have there so it's still here it's still showing i'm waiting for it to load all right so 
and this is, is the current market price for points okay four million one hundred and sixty six thousand and then like i said i don't do market order if i was to buy if i wish to buy it at this current prevailing uh, market price what i would just do is to click on market order and then i put the amount i want to buy okay maybe i want to buy with 100 percent of my money so this is the btc equivalent i'll be getting 0.0119 but i do not want to use the market order i want to use my um, limit order because i presume the price is going to fall so i'm going to buy at four from four million one hundred and fifty nine thousand four hundred four million one hundred fifty six thousand and ninety two naira that's the price i want to buy so i'm going to choose do i want to here you can see 25 percent 50 percent this one talking about 50 percent 75 and 100 so it's asking me if i want to use all the money i have all my all the 59k that i have here to do the purchase uh, because i want to use the complete money i'm just going to click on 100 percent so if it succeeds succeeds this is what i'm going to buy 0.011994 bitcoin so i'm going to click on buy okay so i go to my open orders this is my open orders i go to my open orders and see it so this is it this is my order so once market gets to this four million one hundred and fifty six thousand and ninety two once the price falls there it will automatically buy for me okay so that is how you can buy btc with your um binance app okay and remember the two things i said must be met firstly you have to be sure that your app is up to date if you're using the older version i'm not sure it's possible it, you can it can work okay so make sure your app is up to date and secondly make sure that your account is verified the verification process it's not it doesn't it's not that stringent it doesn't take time so just upload your information and and all the every other thing will be um done okay so like i said please if you are new to the app and maybe you want to introduce somebody kindly use my um referral id okay so there are some information here i'm not supposed to be revealing for the sake of about no problem my account is 100 percent um protected but please i wouldn't want the person watching this video to try hacking me okay so this is that and then um please kindly subscribe to the to my youtube channel because your subscription is one of the things that motivates me to keep doing this kind of hacks that will help you to become more profitable okay so i'm gonna end the video right now and thank you so much for taking your time to watch it until i come your way again i am your friend in the cryptocurrency space mr solution